What is behavioral genetics? In order to answer that question, we must first establish the answer to a fundamental question that exists within psychology. Which contributing factor influences human behavior the most? Nature, the process of passing down genes from generation to generation, or nurture, the effect that one's environment has on one's development. Charles Darwin and his cousin, Francis Galton, believed that certain traits, especially ones that provided an advantage to organisms, were more likely to be passed down to the next generation. For example, Galton believed that intelligence was a product of good breeding rather than good rearing. This means it's more nature rather than nurture. However, other thinkers like Locke believed in tabula rasa, where organisms are born as a blank slate, to later be etched by experience. This idea was then echoed by the 20th century psychologists Watson and Skinner, who believed that learning and behavior were connected to the environment rather than to the mind or consciousness. Modern ideas, now known as behavioral genetics, state behavior can be explained by the environment and passing of genes from one generation to the next. Researchers have developed a better understanding of this topic using a method called Genome-Wide Association Study, or GWAS. Genome-Wide Association Studies utilizes case control studies to compare sections of the genome in people with a certain trait to the sections of the genome without that trait. By comparing the relative abundance of SNPs, or single nucleotide polymorphs, in the genome of the case group to those in the control group, researchers are able to determine through statistical analysis if a trait is associated with a gene or rather a product of environmental factors. These studies have furthered our understanding of behavioral genetics. With increasing advances in DNA sequencing, we can expect to learn more about the effects of genes and the environment on human behavior. Thanks for watching.